Thank you very much, Jim, and, and thank you all for <clears throat> gathering at uh, what is indeed, I, I feel, a historic event. Um, if there isn't any uh, media here today, just wait five years, and there'll be a horde of reporters outside, Tom, so don't worry. Okay. Anyway, we are indeed at a historical uh, crossroads. Um, we have peak oil coming up, something we're all aware of. We have global warming, which Tom pointed out. And we have a worldwide push toward renewable, sustainable energy sources. So our algae project um, is part of a movement, uh, as Jim pointed out, around the world to find um, environmentally friendly and sustainable sources of transport fuel and even electricity. Um, and algae, is, uh, as we s will see, is playing a central role in that whole uh, development. The philosophy or the principle behind the use of algae is very simple. And that is, as uh, Jim pointed out, the sun is constantly pouring out practically unlimited energy toward our planet. And this free energy is captured by green plants in photosynthesis and used to form algae, which is a very simple, in fact, the most simple um, form of plant life. And then um, through combustion, through our technology, we can burn uh, that algae or extract oil from that algae and then release free energy back into the environment. Um, in other words, utilize that current solar power rather than utilize solar power, which has been sequestered millions and millions of years ago in fossil fuels. So we're using current sunlight rather than stored, uh, limited sunlight. And as we saw, current sunlight is, is unlimited. In regard to carbon, the same kind of cycle is there. Um, the algae will capture carbon dioxide, uh, and then we will combust that algae and then release carbon dioxide. But that carbon dioxide is, again, uh, sequestered by the next generation of algae in a fairly closed loop uh, mechanism. So in our mind, that process is the very environmentally friendly and totally sustainable. So in Berkshire County, which is western Massachusetts, um, equidistant between Boston and New York, we're developing a future renewable energy uh, park or a center and this uh, is known as the, let's see what did I do here. Okay, Berkshire Green Energy is the name of the uh, enterprise. 